What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're doing another set of the 100 runs. So basically the series is all about doing 100 runs of every single dungeon in the game. And we've done a lot of them so far so if you've missed out on any of them make sure you check out my playlist on the YouTube channel called Loot from 100 Runs. And in today's episode, we're doing one that a lot of people ask me about, and that is uh, Scarlet Monastery. And we're doing uh, Monastery the left side in SM and not the right side, because it simply has more mobs, better density, easy to get out, and so on. So keep in mind that it doesn't matter what class you do SM with, because the runs are super, super fast. But after finishing a run, you should go out and kill the mobs outside, which I will show you. And then you need to go inside again and do like two, three runs and then go outside, kill mobs. Because the mobs outside has a lot of the same loot table as the mobs inside. And since you're doing the run so damn fast, it's good to go out and kill uh, the mobs outside while they're up. But they spawn kind of slowly, so you can't do it every single run. But uh, you guys will get the hang of it. It depends on how fast you do one run. So I'm going to show you guys the route that I do use uh, in SM. Like, it's, uh, it's not rocket science. Basically, you're just going to run through the dungeon and you're going to kill every single mob. So, while I show you guys the run, we can talk about why you should or shouldn't do SM. It's really interesting. Uh, SM first became a place to farm after uh, one of the last patches in Legion when they rerouted all uh, the scaling with dungeons and so on. Basically, a lot of items that used to be unobtainable, like the Scarlet set, the War Chief's Kilt, a bunch of weapons and so on, are now available again with the scaling uh, scaling change uh, that happened uh, some time ago. So we discovered that back when it was fresh, like kind of new, when the, actually the, uh, the day of the patch. So I made a video on that one. And ever since that, people have been trying to get these items. So... I've seen people do one run of SM and they've made a million gold. I've seen people do one run and get the Scarlet Boots or the Scarlet Chest and they made like half a million. Like everything is possible uh, and yes it does still drop like the Butcher and so on. Like the good old blue items that has always dropped from this place. So it, it, it's really really RNG though because there's not that many mobs to kill inside this dungeon. And if you're not lucky enough to get one of these uh, so-called legacy items, you're not going to be making a bunch of gold. It's a gamble. It always will be. If you play in a hype up realms, the green items that TSM will tell you will have some sort of value are going to be underpriced. They're going to be almost worthless. And there's also a decent amount of blue items uh, where TSM is going to tell you that it's going to have like an 80,000 gold value. But if you check your realm, it's closer to... 8,000 gold and that's extremely usual especially in high pop realms however if you do play on a medium or a low pop you might actually be able to sell these 80k blue items for 80,000 gold or at least somewhere close but you need to also keep in mind that besides from like the uh, scarlet pieces like scarlet boots and chest the items if you're lucky enough to do get one of these items they sell super slowly like Transmog in general sells super slowly and if you get like a super item uh, It's gonna sell even slower because it has so so fucking high value that there's not a lot of people willing to spend that amount of gold to get one piece of Transmog it really isn't uh, only the hardcore collectors will do it So if you're lucky and you get one of those items just keep in mind that it's not gonna sell within a week unless you're extremely lucky but right here, killing off this pack in the corner, we're actually done with the route. So, as I told you guys, it's really, really straightforward. Just go through the dungeon like you would have if you did it on a low-level tune. Uh, I do skip, however, the last boss because you kill one of the uh, the bosses and you have to you get stunned and you have to wait. And uh, the girl's gonna come out. She's gonna rest him, and it's just a hassle. It takes a long time. So I can't be arsed to do it. I don't look at this at, like, as efficient enough to keep on waiting. Even though you have a lot of time. So as soon as you leave the dungeon, you're supposed to kill all the mobs outside of this place. And once you've killed the people inside this hole, you're supposed to go outside and you're supposed to kill the mobs outside. And I have received some of the items uh, like Butcher and so on from the mobs outside. And there's a lot of mobs outside, uh, especially compared to the dungeon. 
So what you should definitely do it constantly. So as you guys can see, there's a bunch of these Scarlet mobs outside. They go all the way up here, kind of like behind this building. And uh, this is the last one right here before you're supposed to fly over uh, SM, the Scarlet Monastery, over to the other side. And there's going to be more mobs in these tree lines at the fountain. And then down to this lumber miller. I don't know what this is, but yeah. So that was uh, all the mobs outside of SM. Kill these, go back inside, do a couple of runs, then go outside, kill the mobs, rinse and repeat. Really simple stuff. But what everyone is interested in though is how much gold did I make? Because I've done a hundred runs and <laughs> uh, the last hundred runs have been interesting. It really has. When I say interesting, I mean they've been bad. And this one is uh, not really that much different. These are the green items. These are the blues, the blue items. Uh, this one, strong anti venom, insane strength potion, has a market value of seventeen thousand gold, but it goes for ninety nine gold on my realm. These blue items. Uh, they have decent item value, like 3k, 8k, 34k. Uh, these are probably the best items that I received. The Silver Tread Robe goes for 97,000 gold in my realm with 0.02 sell rate. 34,000 gold market value, though. These boots, 7k, 5k robe, 7k uh, headpiece, but it's actually 11 in my realm. Silver Tread Armor, 26,000 gold, 12 in my realm. We have the uh, tunic 6k and these bracers 7k market value 6k on my realm. In terms of blue items, we've got double Harbringer Broods market value 14k 6k on my realm. We've got the Blood Spiller really bad, it's 26k 1.6k on my realm. This one even worse, but it's a blue item, so I just decided to uh, to save it. Resplendent Guardian 11k, Watchman Powders uh, 26k, got a ring. And we got Pattern for Mooncloth Leggings. And that is everything that I got. So if I drag out the chat box, use my macro, we can see uh, the total value of everything, which is 214,000 gold in uh, 100 runs, therefore 10 hours. Basically 21.4k gold an hour. In item value. It's not really fair to say an hour though because you can easily get this loot uh, by doing it in like 25 minutes per run. So uh, yeah, it's closer to like three hours. And if you look at it that way, it's not really that bad in terms of item value. I think it's with SM, it's wrong to say that it's taken me t like 10 hours, even though it kind of has because there is a uh, you can only do 10 runs per hour, but like efficient farming, it, it hasn't been uh, more than like 250 uh, minutes, 25 for 10 runs roughly, even though I kill the mobs outside and I don't really stress when I'm inside the dungeon because I'm doing it live on stream in a farming competition, but you guys can easily go and do it in like 2.5 minutes per run. So uh, 214K in like three, four hours, it's not that bad. But the only thing you're hunting for is the legacy items, the big ticket items. It's kind of like old demand. You're not supposed to go to SM if you're uh, if you're in a position where you need to fill up your auction house. If you're new to the gold farming game, no, 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 no. You do you do SM if you feel like you have a good enough auction house. You feel lucky. You feel like you need some like higher price your items that's when you go into sm and you do sm and you aim for those items i have received some of them myself and i've seen a lot of my viewers get them and sell them and there's a lot of interesting items in sm that can only be obtained inside sm so even though my results were slightly bad we've seen this many many times when i've done these videos like I do it 100 runs, I get like 200,000 gold market value. I do it again, I get like 700,000 gold market value. Even though 100 runs seems like a lot of runs, but in the RNG game, the Transmog game, it's not really a lot of uh, a lot of runs to give it like an average gold per hour or anything like that. Not even close. So I wouldn't be scared of these low numbers. I would still go out and do it. And if you're lucky enough, you're going to get a legacy item. And if you do... By some miracle, get a legacy item. Please let me know on Twitter or uh, in the comment section down below. But that was it for today's 100 runs video. So 
What dungeon do you guys want to uh, to see me do next? Leave a comment down in the comment section, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what you guys will pick. But that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.